Hello YouTube, it is Sunny and welcome to Arts Inspired, a fabulous drawing channel. And um, right now I'm showing you some sketches that are similar to the ones that I'm about to do in this video. I'm doing two. I'm using just a paper mate, regular old dollar store pen. Um, I'm using the blue one in this episode, not doing anything in red. And right here I'm just getting something to press on because my table, it has dried paint all over it because, you know, it's my art table. And the paint is kind of messing up the ink um, shading, so it wasn't really working for me. Uh, but yeah, so I got Great Gatsby to press on in order to make that a little less all over the place. Um, and uh, this pen don't like me, it's what I wrote on that paper. It was being very uncooperative. Whenever I needed to shade something lightly, it just would not come out. And then when I needed something just a little bit dark, it would go straight deep dark blue. And it was so difficult. And right here I'm showing you guys me doing something in real time. So that you can see a little better what I'm doing and it's not sped up. It's not going to stay like this the whole video. I just wanted to do a couple uh, seconds of real time so you can get a better feel for how this pen shading is going. Because I did go over these eyes really quickly. So um, you wouldn't have been able to see any of the detail or just it, my process in sped up time. It just looks really weird and wonky when you all have it all sped up. Um, anyways, if you've never come to, seen my channel before, which you likely haven't, it's fairly new, Arts Inspired is a channel where I, myself, create art and you guys watch me. You can offer critiques or suggestions or recommendations for my next piece, something you want to see from me, and I will try to comply to the best of my abilities. And uh, I don't know, that's it. I just hope you guys enjoy what I create on here. Anyway, today's sketch, I guess I should explain it, or sketches, I should explain them. They are both part of a grander piece um, that is supposed to represent Jane Elliott's story. Jane Elliott is a woman who, um, she was a teacher in the 1960s, 70s, and her students didn't really understand racism, segregation, um, what is it? Uh, when you abuse people based off race, not necessarily racism, but just being mean to people. I mean, maybe that is racism. I, I can't think of the word I'm, I'm wanting to say, but um, racism, segregation, and the related concepts, because she taught a class of white students. So what she did was she um, split them up in her class based off eye color, um, the brown-eyed students, and then the blue and green-eyed students. And so the brown-eyed students got to be superior one day, and then the blue and green-eyed students got to be superior the next day, so that she could show them it's not too cool being, you know, abused by people who think they're better than you for no real reason other than what they were born with, something that you just can't change about yourself. And so her students got to understand that and uh, further their knowledge and learning in school and, and just, you know, relate to the story. And she's gone on doing that to this day, gone on doing those kinds of sermons and lessons all over the world. And She's really cool. I think there's even a video on YouTube of her doing one. It's uh, one of her less successful sessions of trying to get people to participate. Uh, but she does it in England, and I think that's the video that's on YouTube. I don't know. If I find it, I'll put it in the description. But uh, you can just see her process and like what she's thinking and how she would try to do it in that area. And yes, so with this one, as you saw, I started out drawing the girl kind of looking up, but I ended up restarting and creating this, and uh, I decided halfway through that it was um, um, a guy. <laughs> so I had to, uh, I don't know, make his, like, his uh, facial features a little bit more masculine, masculine, and I gave him a bit of an Adam's apple in his neck, just to make it a little bit more clear that he was male. But all in all, in the end, it, it, it ended up fine. And by the way, these faces for the grander piece, these people represent the people that Jane Elliott has affected through her work. So they're of all different races. The first guy I did was Asian. This guy is um, Black or African American or Haitian American or whatever you want to go with. Um, <laughs> and then uh, there's uh, all types of other different races, which I will show you guys in the end, all the other sketches I did for this one. And if you want, you can request in the comments. I will show you the finished overall super big grandeur piece because they do have it nearly finished right now and it's looking pretty cool and I can just show you guys what it looks like all big and complete but I, I couldn't film all of it because uh, well I actually tried to but it, it got lost and um, you know I, I, technical difficulties resulted in my not being able to show you guys what I created for you but I am able to take a couple of these little sketches I'm doing and um, show you that process. <laughs> so I hope that you don't mind not being able to see the work of the grander piece. But if you, oh, that was a hiccup. I have really weird hiccups. <laughs> they are all over the place and people always stare at me all types of crazy whenever I hiccup. 
and I, I'm sorry. That's just the way they are. Um, what was I saying? If you want to see the full grander piece, just request it, and in the next video, or wh whichever next video after someone requests to see the big piece, I will just show you the completed work for this one. Um, but I'll also be posting the completed work on my Instagram at Arts Inspired without the dash, no no slash, no dash, no hyphen, whatever you call it. It's not there. Um, I also am on Art Immuno. It's a fun app for artists under the same name, Arts Inspired. I don't remember if I have a dash or slash on that one. You'll see it on the end slate, whether or not there's a dash, slash, slash. Um, and I'm about finished with this guy. I gave him a headband. He reminds me of a basketball player, a uh, headband, big fro, black eye. I don't know. Made sense to me. And then right here, I lined up all the sketches so you could see them all in their wonderful, wonderful glory. So again, you guys, if you want to see the big grand door piece, just let me know down below in the comments. Please like this video, comment on it, subscribe if you want to see more, and share with your friends so that they can get a feel for the inspired arts that are on here as well. I will see you all next time. Have a lovely day, and until then, toodaloo.